Hey, my name is Cheryl Nussbaum Beach, and I've decided to do a series of video blogs. Uh, I thought it would be quick and sweet, not very minute, many minutes. I'll keep them all in short order, but just um, for every couple days or so to share from my passions, things I've been thinking about, maybe some quick ideas that might be useful to you, um, both in teaching and learning. And also, I thought I would start to look more holistically at things. I've got some things that I'd like to share about spiritual self and physical self and uh, just helping you to become more self-aware. And so it'll be from my passion, and I hope that my, people that normally have read my blogs and read my content will be interested in hearing what I have to say. So I thought I would get started today with telling you a story about something that recently happened to me, and then from there, an idea for a quick, uh, unexpensive, but incredibly valuable Christmas gift. So it's my birthday, uh, December 2nd. I had a significant birthday and I was in Washington, D.C. attending an ISTE board meeting. I serve on the uh, ISTE board of directors. Such, an, such a, a very humbling thing to do. It's been just such an honor. I've learned so much from being part of the board at ISTE. And my kids found out that I was going to be there. And so the three daughters, my son and his family wasn't able to come. But my three daughters and their spouses, except for Chris, Chris had a funeral and he wasn't able to join us, but we brought, they came and they brought uh, two of my grandkids and we explored uh, the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History and they rented an Airbnb, this amazing place. It had tons of bedrooms and it was so uh, unique and quirky and interesting art inside the, inside the home. And, uh, the kids cooked. They're all fabulous cooks. And so they made my favorite foods. And then it came time to sit down and uh, open gifts. And we're not big on fancy schmancy gifts in our family. We like gifts of the heart. And often uh, we even have Christmases that we say, okay, all we're going to do this year is we're going to hand make things. And so um, the all the gifts were fabulous. They were very heartfelt. But one in particular stood out that I think would be a great idea for you if you're looking for something to give to a significant person in your life, like a parent, who has um, helped to mold and shape you as an individual. Uh, so what my daughter did, my, my oldest Amber, is she ran and grabbed one of these little books like you put notes in, um, very plain Jane kind of book, and then she titled it, you know, Celebrating You. She created this book in two ways. She knew that all the family was going to be sitting around and she didn't want to share her deepest uh, emotions and, and uh, sense of worth with anyone but me. But she wanted something that could be good for the whole family to kind of see what we were doing. So the way that she created the book was so that you could read it from two directions. So she started me out on this side and had me turn pages and so basically I did the book backwards first and she told me that I could read this out loud to everyone. So um, it started here and you can see that she would put, would put in a little graphic um, a memory that she had. Some things, th this section of the book was memories that she had most about the time that she spent with me. And so I would read these out loud. There we go. And the family would listen so like um raising chickens and naming and raising chickens and having a crazy time with them in the yard butchering them and we did when they were little we had a farm she said is one of my favorite stories to tell me with blood and feathers and you in mourning tender-hearted for animals always and she's right i mean i don't even like to kill insects and they were out there i had one of my children when we were looking out this glass window and amber was running around with blood on her cheeks from the chickens and feathers in her hair with her father butchering them and the, my other daughter and i were inside crying our eyes out for the chickens because they were our friends um but each one of these, as you can imagine, it, it generated quite a lot of discussion in the family and laughing and remembering the memories. And it was warm and it was wonderful and it was funny. So making an ice storm on a rare frozen night in Georgia by leaving the sprinklers on, magic, weird wonderland. And in each one of these, she does some little tiny graphic that sort of helps to um, add to the flavor. So you can see on this one, she's got, you know, little books and stuff. And she says like, 
um, Civil War book report. I got to play film director, and it was so fun and cool. And then she put some quotes. She did this one thing where she would do, I'm so disgusted, but she would do all this facial stuff. And she did it sort of in an old English, kind of hilarious. We all remembered it and busting out laughing. So that was cool. I got to go through the book. But then when I got to the end, it, it instructed me, spoiler alert, flip over. So what I did is I flipped over and then she started an actual letter to me. And so the beautiful thing about this is this letter, which goes on and on for the rest of the book, is about her idea of who she's become as a woman of self-worth, a woman who really understands who she is, being self-aware, and how I helped in the development of that. Now, I think every mother's secret hope is to know did I do a good job? You know, as who they are now as adult children, did I, how did I help to shape them? And are they okay? And were my intentions recognized? And, you know, you don't get to have those kinds of conversations in long, long detail too often with your adult daughters. And so she, she took several themes like creativity, smarts, you know, and, and she went down and I'll just read you a couple of the titles that she did, but she, um, Creative, smart, feminist, brave, hardworking, moral, justice-focused, generous, loyal, well-adjusted adult. And so she took each one of those themes. Now, please don't get the idea that Amber's full of herself because she's not. If anybody being self-aware is also incredibly aware of her weaknesses and the places that she would like to improve, it's Amber. She's way too hard on herself. But she took each one of these and then she fleshed them out and told me not only how she saw herself as a creative or how she saw herself as, as an intellectual, but also she um, fleshed it out where she told me what my parenting or my upbringing or the time that she spent with me did to shape that. So quick and easy, you can see, you know, great little graphics here, you know, good stories, um, not anything that anyone couldn't create, but yet I promise you, if there is a fire in our house, you know, people try to think about what will you grab, you'll grab all the pictures and memories, this is going, you know, I probably will carry this with me in my pocketbook and read it often, um, I'm going to keep it out where I can have access to it, so she was able to give me a very private, sentimental gift, but yet something fun we could share with the family and have conversations by making it you the public reading this way and just for you mom that way so there you go here's our first video chat with e with each other and i hope that is an interesting gift for you that you might want to make and give to a parent that you love i know it was a home run for me all right i'll see you soon thanks